morning and welcome to my kitchen, another episode of Kitchen Basics. Tonight I'm planning on making Greek salad for supper and to have a Greek salad you have to start off with a Greek vinaigrette. So I'm going to show you how to make that first in this video and then I'm going to make another video of how we make our Greek, Greek salad. So if you come over here I'll show you what we're going to do. Um, Greek, Greek vinaigrette is very similar to the vinaigrette that we made um, the other day, only uh, this does not have mustard in it. Uh, you can put mustard in it if you like. Um, this vinaigrette you're going to have to shake up if you, right before you use it so that it gets nice and emulsified. But if you shake it long enough and hard enough, the, uh, the lemon juice will help emulsify it as well. Yes, it does. So what we have in my um, pint jar here is one cup of light olive oil. This is what I have here. Um, you can use extra virgin if you want, whatever. Um, we're going to use a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon each of oregano, onion powder, dried parsley and garlic powder. You can feel free to use um, fresh garlic if you want. And a half teaspoon each of uh, salt and pepper. I'm going to squeeze a lemon in here. And then we're going to fill it to the first line with red wine vinegar. There we go. And then I'm going to go grab a lid. Greek vinaigrette. I'm going to give it a taste. Oh, that's good. Mm. And you want Greek vinaigrette to be a little on the tangier side as opposed to sweet. So if you can adjust the sweetness if you like, you don't have to use white sugar, you can use demerara sugar, you can use honey or agave nectar, whatever you prefer. That is just how you do it. You give, put the lid on it, give it a good shake, and you have dressing. And you have a whole pint of dressing. When you buy dressing in the store, you're getting between 12 and 16 ounces, and that's between a cup and a half to two cups, and you're paying Anywhere from a dollar fifty to you know five dollars, depending on the brand of uh, salad dressing that you buy. You don't have to because if you have oil and vinegar and a few seasonings in your house, you already have dressing on hand. You just have to mix it up yourself. So that's how I make Greek vinaigrette. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. You can find the recipe on my website www.noreenskitchen.com. Um, and until next time. Hope you enjoyed this. Oh. Rick reminded me to say thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. And until next time, I'll see ya.